Due to request, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to install Fallout 3 Script Extender, also known as FOC for Fallout Script Extender. Okay, so you head over all over to foci.silverlock.org. The link will be in the description as always. And then you'll see here current stable version, and there's also current beta version. You don't really see new mods for Fallout 3 at this point, so I'd rather get the stable version. And due to force of habit, I'll just get the archive because that's what I've always done. So download that file, and then you can close this. And now, if anybody's afraid of a virus, I'll scan it. So scan with viruses. Well, scan for viruses, I mean. Scan. Okay, so scanning with malware bytes and malware. And Symantec. Symantec has found nothing. And Malwarebytes has found nothing. We're all good. Now, since I have 7-zip installed, I have this little tooltip when you right-click. So, over here, and I'll just do extract file. I'll do extract here. So you don't need the archive. Let me drag this here. And you'll see this. You'll see all this. A bunch of DLLs, source file, uh, document, some editor stuff. I read me what's new. So it's been a while. Let's get all these little files here. You don't need the source. If you're a modder, you can grab the source if you like. You probably don't need these additional files, but I'm just gonna put them in there anyway to make sure we have good compatibility. Copy. Now, we don't need the readme's, it's just text files. We don't need this document. And we don't need the source file unless you're a modder who's working on Fallout 3. If you are, you'll just copy that file as well. So let's make sure you copy it. And then navigate on to where Fallout 3 is installed. So, E Drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And you go down here to Fallout 3 Game of the Year. And you'll see this mess. So, as you can see, I already have an older version of FOSI. Paste. This destination is 10 files with the same names. Of course it does. Now, replace files. It'll overwrite the old files that I have. So, now I have the newest version of FOSI installed. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff here. Now, to get Fallout 3 working in the first place, it's not as simple as just slamming these FOSI files in and running off the FOSI loader right here. If you want to load it, you'll just do that. Now, anyway, some of the things there are several things you have to do to get this to work. You're going to have to get the Games for Windows Live launcher. So, click over here. So you're going to have to download this, and then just install it. And another thing you want to do is, when you load the program, you want to set affinity settings for it. So, since if I run Fallout 3, the recording messes up, let me show you on a different program. So, let's say I want to go to Windows sticky note. I don't care about that. You'll see these values, properties, hiding back here, so blah, 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 all that general stuff. I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Resource values. Let's go to details. Here we go. Sorry, it's different on Windows 10. So, you go on processes, right click on the program and you'll see go to details and it'll take you to this menu right click on it and then you'll see one that says set affinity so set affinity and this shows all logical processing cores so if you have an i5 with uh, which is which much all of them you will see four cores as long as it's a quad core if you have a cpu that supports hyper threading 
uh, you will see double the physical cores. So I have a quad core CPU with hyperthreading, which means I have eight logical cores. So if, if you're running Fallout 3, what you want to do is this, zero and one. Just do two cores. If you only if you only have a quad core without hyperthreading, so if you have a quad core and you only see cores zero, one, two, three, still check two of these boxes. I'm hitting cancel because I don't want to do that. And if you, once you've already done it, you can check it to make sure it works. So if you did set affinity to two cores and you would open this again and it would, it would show zero and one is checked and everything else is blank. And Another thing you can do, because my old video on how to get Fallout 3 running is really, really outdated. Um, one of the things you can do is go over to the executable, properties, and compatibility. And you're going to either run it for Windows XP, Service Pack 3, Windows XP Service Pack 2, or in this case, like I'm doing, Windows Vista Service Pack 1. And also disable display scaling on high DPI settings. That's there, but it seems to work. And you can also run it as an admin, but I found that it didn't really change anything for me. So I'm personally running it in Windows Vista mode because I found it was the most stable for Windows 10. By no means is Fallout 3 still stable. It's really, really unstable. And that's why I've used Tale of Two Wastelands over here, which combines New Vegas and 3. That's a, that's a job for a different video. So now if you go over to where if I have it. So this is the original Fallout Launcher and I messed it up. But the point is when you find the FOSI loader right here, this is the updated one. Properties, compatibility, and you can do this. I've set the original game executable from Vista, service pack one or two. This is you can set this to Windows XP Service Pack 2, 3, and I'm not, I don't think Vista worked on this executable, so whatever works for you. I found that Vista on the game executable and XP on the FOSI loader works just fine. And now, as usual, whenever you run this, so as you can see here, this is my old file. See? So, if you run it this way, off the FOSI loader, the problem you're going to encounter is that Steam will not recognize it. It won't recognize the route you're doing. It does recognize it in New Vegas, which is why when you open it, you can do Shift-Tab so you can see the Steam menu, and it'll show that you're playing New Vegas. Fallout 3 does not work that way. Fallout 3 will act as if it's not playing. If you're in an app like Discord or something that detects games you're running, it'll show that you're playing it, but it's Steam will not recognize it, so your hours tracked, all that stuff, not, it's not happening. If you want to get it working, you're going to have to go over here, and the original games launch, the game launcher. So, this is the Fallout launcher, and all I did was this. And I just changed it from Fallout Launcher to EXE to Fallout Launcher underscore original, not FOSI. So this is the real launcher. And now what I'm going to do is this. Since the original launcher is named this, so it's a backup, I'm going to go and see Fallout Launcher. Go over to FOSI. Sorry. Full of I'm sorry. And then just name it, oh well, it helps if I spell it properly then doesn't it? falloutlauncher.exe Now, I'm naming it falloutlauncher.exe not to be fun or anything, but I'm naming this so that Steam will recognize it. Do you want to rename this? There's already a file. In this case, probably not. It didn't overwrite the original. So as you can see, falloutlauncher.exe, this is actually FOSI. If it was the original, it would have this little fallout head icon next to it because I haven't bothered to change it. So this is actually FOSI Loader, 
right here. This is the original. So if I go down here, as you, it's, as you can see, it's to confirm follow launcher DXE. That's FOSI, and the original FOSI is the original. Now if I go down here, and then just name it that. In this case, I'm going to name it version two, which will probably not run. Just doing it for the sake of being able to see both of them side by side. So this is the original and it hasn't been updated. So these are the exact same file. Regardless, this little shortcut is linked to it. And you also don't need to use this shortcut anymore because now Whenever you click play on the Steam menu, it'll open this. It thinks that this is it. So you will no longer get the little game launcher that shows up that says play, add-ons, options, data files, crew, stuff like that. If you want to get to that, just go to this, the Fallout Launcher original FOSI. Before you do this, you're going to need to rename your original Fallout Launcher something like this, Fallout Launcher underscore original. So you know the difference between the original Fallout Launcher and your FOSI thing that you changed the name of so that Steam will read it now. And once you've done that, so once you get Games Windows Live, once you set Affinity, once you get the files renamed so Steam reads it, and once you have FOSI installed and you run it off of that, which you renamed, now you can put mods into it with Nexus Mod Manager. I know that's a gigantic pain, but to be honest, this game is really old. As you can, I have all these files here for backups of different things, source source files, lots of stuff. The game is, it, it's not in good shape at this point. The game is so old that if you want to have a really stable experience, you should probably run a virtual machine of Windows XP. Now, there is a, an alternative to all of this, which is called Tale of Two Wastelands. As you can see here, get rid of that. Day of the Wastelands is a project that merges Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas into one game. It turns Fallout 3 and all of its DLC, which is required, into one gigantic mod. It's about a 5 gigabyte file. And it allows you to play Fallout 3 inside of New Vegas's engine. New Vegas's engine being a lot better than Fallout 3's. Now, if you'd like me to talk about Day of the Wastelands and do an install of it, which I'm unable to do currently due to the current setup I have. In the future, I can do an install tutorial, but I can do a analysis of it and show you how it works. Anyway, this should fix issues for running Fallout 3. Um, since FOSI has been updated since 2010, there's really no point in making another tutorial of this. This should help you. This should work for everyone. If these don't work, then you can try setting uh, different compatibility options between Windows XP and Vista, maybe even 7 if you're running Windows 10, on the executable and the FOSI loader. But other than that, this game is so old that there are many, many unforeseen issues with it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll try and help you out, and let me know if you have any suggestions for further content. Please have a good day.